Now over here, we are also going to use estimation to solve this problem. You have $15. How many toy figures can you buy that cost 89 cents each? If you have a calculator, this is an easy problem to solve by division, actually. But we're not going to use division, we're going to use estimation and addition, which are easy operations. And for that, I'm going to write this one toy figure costs approximately 90 cents, right? If I round it to the nearest 10 cents this time. And then two would cost how much? Just double that, 180. Let's keep doubling. Four would cost $3.60. And eight would cost $7.20. Aha, if I double that, I'm going to be near $15. 16 would cost me $14.40. Add 90 cents to that, and it goes over $15. So my estimate is you could buy 16. And he has saved $35. If he buys a board game for $19.70, how much will he have left? Okay, he has so much money, he buys an item, how much will he have left? That's a simple subtraction problem, right? So we could subtract. But I also want to show you the method of adding up. And adding up means that we start with this number and add up till we reach $35. And so, let's write here, adding up. I'm at $19.70 and I add 30 cents. Okay, 30 cents, and that brings me to $20. And then from $20 till 35 is simply $15, right? Let's write that one here. And then if you add these, of course you would get $15.30. And now I also want to show you the subtraction. Subtract. And then you can think which method is easier. In subtraction, we have $35, 0, 0 cents, and under it, 19.70. Like that. These are dollar amounts. Okay, 0 minus 0, that's pretty easy. Then 0 minus 7, if you're going to do it so you regroup. Okay, let's take from here. Leave 4 there, and 10 here. 10 minus 7, 3. Then 4 minus 9, Again, we cannot do that, so we will need to regroup. Leave 2 here, 14. 14 minus 9, 5, and then 2 minus 1, 1. So we get the same result, of course, 15, 30. But personally, I think the adding up with mental math is actually easier. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.